Hello and welcome back to another film video. Today I'm using the Boku Undo Japanesque watercolours because the moody colours in this palette suit the film I'm going to be painting about. Today it's the zone of interest. This film is in German with English subtitles. It's based loosely on the plot of the story by Martin Amis um, and directed by Jonathan Glazer who also wrote this film. The story surrounds Rudolf Hoss and his wife Hedwig and their family and Rudolf Hoss was one of the commandants at the Auschwitz concentration camp and he and his wife and their five children lived right next door to the camp. And this film shows you the Hoss family living a very ordinary life, as ordinary as it could be in the circumstances of war. And you see Hoss and his wife taking the children out to go fishing and swimming. You see Hedwig, the wife, looking after her garden. Um, and that's what this scene is from. There's um, a scene in the film where there's a gardener walking along this path in front of the wall and you can see Auschwitz on the other side of the wall. Um, he's pushing a wheelbarrow and I've chosen to leave the figure out of this painting today and there are some quite disturbing scenes I felt about what might be in the barrow given what was going on in Auschwitz. So the family go about their life and Hedwig um, is seen trying on the clothes that have been taken from some of the prisoners um, and in particular a fur coat and it seems like these throughout the film which made me stop and think about how life must have been for people like Hoss and his family um, and how heartless it was really. I did find this film very thought provoking because it presented things from a different point of view. We're more used to seeing what life was like as a prisoner in Auschwitz. Um, and the Hoss children living in the house next door to Auschwitz would be hearing the screams and the shouts and the gunshots and the sound of the trains and the sound of the furnace. Um, and that is one of the things that runs through the film, is this soundtrack of these noises that would have been around Auschwitz um, at that time. Um, the, the film overall is well made and it kept, certainly kept me engaged for the whole film and there are interesting sequences in it where a Polish girl who lives nearby sneaks out at night and hides food for the prisoners um, at their work sites and those sections of the film are filmed in um, a special kind of thing. I'll put it here if I remember. Um, but kind of, it kind of looks like an x-ray, um, kind of black and white scenes. Um, and it turns out that the these particular scenes are based on the true story of a girl who, who lived there and, and used to do that. So this um, film stars Christian Friedel 
as Rudolf Hoss, the Commandant, and San Sandra Hoyer as Hedwig. The, I felt the acting was, was really good, um, and I did have to concentrate with the subtitles. Overall, my feeling about the film was one of deep sadness, um, and yeah, deep sadness was how I felt um, when I came out of it. Uh, and I would recommend reading a bit about it before you go and see it if you might be triggered by some of the things in this film. So the picture that I'm painting today is just the scene um, of the garden wall and the Auschwitz building or one of the Auschwitz buildings in the background. So I will stop talking there. Thank you very much for watching and I will leave you to watch the rest of my painting and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.